already know what time it is, man. I am back out here with another video. What's good, y'all, man? It's that boy Daily back out here with another video. As y'all can see by the title below, today. Today makes one year since Kenny Mason roughs the album has dropped and i just want to go over and discuss the album itself and discuss the impact that the album has had on me bro as y'all know these two pictures here came from the album release party that was held september 28th when the album dropped bro i remember everything from the week the album was released the night that i got there made the reaction after i came back from the show it was a crazy ass experience y'all should definitely go check out that vlog it'll be down below in the description every time i go to a kenny mason show it's always fun to be you know to have that experience Experience to be around Kenny just be there live bro Kenny Mason know how to perform that's one thing I will say Kenny knows how to perform bro. another thing as y'all know I've been making Kenny Mason reactions since basically the beginning before he got signed y'all go check out the first ever reaction to Kenny Mason I made which was to Metal Wings that was like three four years ago god damn I've been doing that shit for this long but yeah man incredible album my favorite three songs off the album itself blackheart west side and 333 slash adam listen you can't go wrong with shell either shell is probably the the song off the album that had the most impact but i ain't gonna lie when kenny mason be making these subtle ass songs that be that be just be vibe shit like like i said with west side and blackheart bruh those are probably one of my favorite kenny mason songs ever for real like i'm starting to like subtle kenny mason more than like his hard shit even though i love his hard shit it's like when kenny mason made some subtle shit he tap into something different when he does subtle songs shell definitely bro let me just play this shit real quick bro we gotta go through some of these songs again because bro this is, i've been listening to this shit all day like bro i know the lyrics word for word bar for bar like bro just listen to this shit Shell is definitely one of those songs off this album, bro. Just the wordplay, the beat. Shout out to Coop, bro. This was like our first time even hearing Coop and Kenny Mason make shit together. And it just gelled together perfectly. This was probably the one of the best samples I heard all 2022, bro. You, I can't even lie about it. And we can't forget uh, you had Spin and Flip with Young Nudie. That's Kenny Mason's first first mainstream feature. You know that he had songs in the past with uh, J.I.D., like with Serial. But this was probably, this was definitely Kenny Mason's first breakout feature. Um, having Young Nudie on one of his albums before that, he didn't really have any crazy features on any. I know what Angelic Hood read the album, he didn't have any features on that for real. I know on the Supercut, he did have Denzel Curry. No, 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 no. I lied. I lied. His first ever real, real mainstream feature. I wouldn't even consider Denzel Curry the mainstream. He's like, <laughs> he's mainstream, but he doesn't get the love that he truly deserves. A Plus was his first official main feature but having nudie on an album bro just being from atlanta and having nudie on an album that was like big shit in my opinion but 333 slash adam bro <laughs> just the beat alone makes the song Just the whole aura of this song, bruh, just makes it one of my favorite songs. I'll probably put this at number one. 333 slash Adam at number one. Westside at number two. Blackheart at number three. Blackheart is one of my favorite songs, bro. I remember when the snippet dropped. When was that? That was Valentine's Day last year. I'll never forget that shit. When I heard the song, I was like, yeah, this already one of my favorite songs. So that was automatically going to be in my top three. Just a W song overall, bruh. Westside, Westside is just one of those songs that you listen to. You take a late night drive. Westside is one of those songs bro but you could just listen to if you in a bad mood good mood no matter what type of mood you in you could just listen to west side and enjoy this song for what it was definitely a w outro for the album that's the best song he could have went with for an outro i wouldn't change any order that the album was in for nothing bro it's no point w intro with zoomies minute forever another iconic song off the album as well boa people bro people love boa bro i'm not gonna lie when the snippet dropped for that i think he did the snippet for that on instagram live maybe but when the snippet for that dropped bro everybody was loving it even at the release party bro people knew the words of the song the first day it dropped not even the first day it dropped it it was still like the song ain't even fully dropped yet it was niggas next to me knew the song word for word bar for bar i'm like ah, they ain't 
real. But Shell is up there for me. But like I said, I like the more subtle shit better with Kenny Mason. Not gonna lie, especially on his new shit. But we not even we not even talking about the new shit. This is mainly about Russ, bro. Can't forget, Mama don't know. Like, bro, that's iconic ass song. The first song that he ever was this the first song that he made with a Mindy rx i think it was i'm not sure y'all can y'all can tell me if i'm wrong about that rx beautiful song shout out to a mindy uh album reaction i dropped that shit yesterday y'all can go check that out can't forget about dip with david the tragic definitely gotta check out more david the tragic bro because he been going crazy as of recent bro not just with kenny mason just overall by himself he been going stupid this album honestly 10 out of 10 bro 10 out of 10 for me no complaints at all he just didn't miss with this shit this was his first studio album i believe and we know nine is on the way this year we definitely need to see how nine matches up to roughs even though it's probably gonna be his own thing like how everything that kenny mason makes is his own thing it all sounds different from each other i know that he put it in the work to make sure that nine is really a complete ass album now like i said bro i remember when roughs released bro it was incredible bro the whole week i was listening to it that's back when i had my subaru i literally blew my speakers listening to Rough. Yeah, man, not gonna lie, I can't remember what song it was to. Probably it was Shell, most likely. I'm gonna tell y'all exactly what happened. Boom, right? I get back in my car after doing some shit, right? Start up the engine. Radio turn on, Bluetooth connect or whatever. I'm driving, and all I see is smoke coming from my, like, the, the gap that's in between the window and the door panel i see smoke coming up from there and my speakers went out i'm like bro what that was crazy as hell to me that's the last thing i expected throughout the whole day was for my speakers to blow listening to the roofs i blame kenny mason for that day i really blame that nigga but it was worth it that, that, that shit was wild as hell but yeah man the day that it dropped it was just full of iconic moments bro like i said y'all can go check out the album reaction and also the release party vlog other than that man w album by kenny mason bro if you haven't heard it make sure you go listen to it i'll put the link to it on spotify down below in the description but hey man let me know what y'all think about roughs what is y'all favorite kenny mason song also let me know that down below in the comments but hey man hopefully y'all enjoyed the video if you did make sure you like us comment and subscribe for, for more videos coming some more content coming soon you know what time it is man is being your boy that boy deli oh, i'm gone man